have a nice day with everyone. In this video, I will speak about how to use aircraft IBC illustrated parts catalog. The illustrated parts catalog AIBC contains the line replaceable aircraft parts, not in the overall shop or workshop. This is for line replaceable units. The IBC is companion to the maintenance manual and the numerical and includes all part numbers, part numbers which maintenance practice practices has been provided. So the maintenance manual will refer to the illustrated parts catalog, the non-destructive test manual, wiring diagram, structure repair manual, so and so. Okay. The part numbers shown in the document, this document, follow or arrangement and the breakdown sequence of items are compatible with the Air Transport Association at a, at a system. Okay. The last revision, newest revision. Caution here. This is the catalog or the manual. Contains only the detailed parts list and numerical index information applicable to the care applicable to again applicable to particular customer so this is unique customer not allowed to borrow any manual to other airline or other customer to use it okay the page of the manual this is the page header contains the manufacturer Airbus, Boeing, Fokker, Bombardier, so and so. Then the customer airline name. The name of the customer airline here. Here the name of the manual. Aircraft Illustrated Sparse Catalog. Then the aircraft type, the aircraft type means Airbus for Airbus A320, A330, A340, A380, so and so. This is for Airbus. For Boeing, B, Boeing 737 dash, so Boeing 747. Boeing 767, Boeing 777, so and so. This is the applicability here. We'll speak about the manufacturer serial number or airline or digits for the aircraft in this manual. Then the revision date. Take care. This is the newest revision. Okay. Then the subject, after the subject, the page footer, the page footer, print date, month, day, day, year, year, year. This is the page, page number of the total page number. Okay, one of 20, two of 20, three of 20, so and so. And this is the copyright manufacturer rights here. Each subject contains figure and table. I can't copy any figure or any table from the manufacturer manual because the laws of copyright okay i will show you some notes about these manuals on the tables here for small aircraft it contains 
the figure number and the table. The table contains item number, part number, description, effectivity, notes. This is for small aircraft here. But for large aircraft here, such as uh, Airbus or Boeing, the table here contains columns here. The first columns, figure, then dash, then item. The figure number here is the figure number. Then dash, then item number. Okay. If any part number here has dash only, so means that this part number is not shown in this figure may be in next tire assembly, okay? The part number here, you must go to the introduction if you want to see what about the details of this part number, okay? This is a nomenclature or the description of the part number. Here, without dot means this is the assembly, this is sub-assembly this is sub-assembly of the this one and this is sub-sub-assembly from this one you will see some short letters here like NP and between brackets V then some here here, go to the four next tire assembly, NHA, here, CMM, here, optional two, here, storage part, here, alt from, here, left, LHRH, LM, by part number here. We will show you some here. Here in the effectivity, you will see sometimes RU and then the effectivity of the aircraft here, RU. Here and the quantity, you will see sometimes RF. Okay. We will show you here. When you go to the figure, you would see the, you would see the item number in the circle. A letter in the square means this is details. Details. Okay. The part number here. Okay. Go to the introduction. The sub the description or the nomenclator. Okay, description and vendor. The details parts list shows the relationship, the relationship of parts and assembly to the next tire assembly, okay, or installation. So you will help you for removal and installation of the component and preparation. The dots here. Without dots means assembly, dot, one dot, details, parts for installation. Assembly, okay, this is the dot. If two dots here, details, parts from, for the assembly, okay, sub-assembly, attachment parts for the assembly. Three dots mean for sub assembly. So the more dots mean this is sub 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 okay. This is the which you I show you here NP non procurable item. So if you want to buy the this part number you will not find in the market, not 
stop manufacture of this part number. C4, next higher assembly, NHA, next higher assembly, okay. V means vendor code. This is the list of vendor codes. If you want to know which the company or which make this part number. CMM, the components maintenance manual for this part. Option two means if you didn't find the part number in the store, you can ask about the option number to this part number. Okay. The storage parts means in the store. C for details, DET means details. Okay. Alter from alternate from like like option. Left hand and right hand here, this is the location. LM means local manufacturer. Here you will not find it in the market, but you must make this part number. How? The manufacturer give you a manual to make this part number. The material number, specifications, the treatment, heat treatment, or uh, any hardening, hardness, so and so, short beaning, so and so. This is the specifications, the manufacturer gave you this data. By number, by part number means this part number, this is not from the factory, from the aircraft manufacturer, not Airbus or not Boeing, but other manufacturer. Here's effectivity column. The effectivity column you must go to the introduction to pick up the digits for aircraft, the aircraft which you want to work on it. Any part number in the aircraft and the check, you must take care of the effectivity for this aircraft. Go to the introduction and pick up the effectivity of this aircraft registration. Here, RU means in the effectivity restricted usage. So this must be not applicable in this airline or this digit number. In the assembly column, the unit per assembly, you may be some digits or RF. RF means variable quantity, not one or two, not three. So this is RF. Okay. This is the IBC for the aircraft. How to use it? Again, you must go to the introduction and study it well study the introduction study the introduction before you use the manual okay thank you very much and i will waiting you your comments and your suggestion or any questions again thank you very much and goodbye